In these palm trees look at that up there look at that up there look at that up there you better believe it don't never believe nobody telling you that the good life ain't possible somebody getting it why not you right if not why not let's do it i just kind of gonna show you how to live your best creative life let's go something i've realized um let's see why not um Something I realized about when you see fine ladies abroad in a lot of these places, they already got a boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? They either married, they got a boyfriend, they got something going on. But they ain't thinking about you. And that's all good. I mean, you know. But it's not good for the goal, so to speak, if you have that in the back of your mind as another thing on your list that you'd like to experience while you're somewhere. You know, you want to meet somebody special. You want to have a cool experience. Oh, I'm scared of the water. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'm coming to get my hug. Don't make me come out no further. Don't make me come out no further. But yeah, um, I just want to talk about a few of the things that my single fellas should consider. Single fellas who love the ladies, okay? That's the only ones I can, I can speak for. Okay, but uh, and even in that, I'm only speaking from my own perspective, using opinions expressed and not necessarily reflect those of Honest Kinds Affiliates Associates. Y'all know the drill. Um, I don't think that music is loud enough or distinct enough for anybody to get me the copyright. I'm gonna walk pretty fast and talk real close to the speaker, hoping my voice drowns out the music. But the point is, like I say, you can see it's a lot of families out here. And this is an area that's not a big resort area. It's like, a, you know, it's a, it's a village, so to speak, that grew. And I like places like this. And that's why I chose it, because it reminded me of Playa del, Playa del Carmen uh, in Mexico. It has that same type of element with how it connects to its little town, the tourist areas, the other areas where more the locals are. But it is forever the local beach, the local area, and you get a taste of all that without the extra intense um, haggling. And, like I've been on this beach walking for miles, and not one person has come up to me with trinkets trying to sell me something, or trying to tell me they're hungry and they need some money or what. None of that. You know what I'm saying? But back to the topic of you know family, familia, and being uh, solamente, being single. You know, it's a reality that, you know, even on the hotter, sexier beaches and all of that, what I've experienced is a lot of times people are already paired up. They come there to have a good time with their mate. So I'm starting to come to a personal conclusion. It's not to say I cannot meet somebody who's single while I'm in town, but I only got a week. You feel me? I'm giving y'all the reality to put this in perspective. You know what I'm saying? I only have a week to make it happen. As I'm filming this, most of the week is already gone. <laughs> this is the second half of the trip. You know, roughly three and a half, three and a half. That's how we do it. Three and a half days, three and a half days. And usually when you get to a place, you almost can't even count them half days because you were more than likely like me, you either got off the plane, went straight to your hotel Airbnb. I had drama at the Airbnb. I canceled that, got my, uh, you know, refund on the way and i messed around and got a uh, hotel because i wasn't trying to deal with that i was like let me just get a hotel man and keep it moving because this ain't it and that was the best thing i could have done so i still had a beautiful stay i had a wonderful hotel but i did have to deal with you know the fallout of that moment and how it affected my timeline so that's one thing i hope y'all can still hear me with the wind blowing i'm doing a test 
this is why we need y'all to support hit that subscribe button because when y'all get when we get monetized i can get myself some uh some lavaliers those little fancy mics that people be having and you'll be able to hear me all the time or should be you know the wind it'll cancel out some of the wind see the clouds building up getting dark man i hope it ain't about to rain again this wind is blowing like it's about to do that thing it does it rains almost every day or at least it has for a couple of days and it's, it's spot rain you know it'll rain one place and then not rain another so okay example this lady coming up she might be single because i came this way and i know the people in the water are together but she's by herself she got this bright red hair. I don't know if that's a fashion statement or if she kind of wild. I'm gonna say hi just to see how she reacts. Let's see what's up. Hold on. So that right there is what I call the classic, I saw you, you saw me, you said hi, I said hi. But this little part right here is kind of like, let's just keep it pushing. I really don't want to chat. At least that's the way I read it. What do you think? Okay, y'all, as you can hear, uh, <laughs> my need for lavaliers is so serious. You could, not, you could barely hear me with the wind blowing at that point. So I'm just gonna talk over a couple of my beautiful beach shots here and hopefully you'll still get my point. So as I was saying, sometimes you just have to bring sand to the beach. That's the theme of this. And what I'm getting at is, you know, you can do all the pre-gaming you want on dating apps, but if you find what I found, flaky women, women who are not quite sure of themselves, even in other countries, and you haven't made a committed bond at some point to note it when you get there, you've got somebody who's waiting for you, really wants to meet you, really wants to hang out with you, can't wait to be intimate with you, then it's not a complete waste of time, but more than likely, you're going to have a headache. It's better, in my opinion, to either guarantee what I just said, make sure you've got somebody boots on ground, ready to go, really wants to hang out with you, really wants to date you, really wants to be involved with you while you're there. Or if you can figure it out, bring somebody. And somebody said, man, that's so dang expensive. I'm trying to get away from them girls who want to be flown out and all that kind of stuff, man. That's the problem, man. I'm trying to go deal with somebody who ain't trying to have me pay for every dog. I think it's expensive. Hey, I feel you. It is. What I'm not even saying is that. I'm saying, yo, you might meet somebody who's sensible, okay, who understands your situation, especially for my artists, yo, especially for people similar to my economic situation. I'm, I'm proud to say with hopeful advisory for those who are trying to come up out of the hole of being on a fixed income, which I am, and realize, yo, it won't always be like this for us. All of us who are truly talented, our talents will pay off if we persevere. This is a fact. I've seen it too many times, and I know I'm on the right track to get there like others who've done it. So all I'm saying is, if you can find a way to budget and find a lady who's willing to budget. You might be looking at your next wife or a wife. I'm saying next for me because I'm divorced and I, I look at it like if I ever get married again, she that's one of the things she's going to have to prove to me, that she understands how to be frugal, that she understands I'm not living off of your income or some fantasy of quote unquote traditional versus modern where people are up here mixing water and oil, quite frankly, and pretending like the modern man it, on average, has the income to support a family the way people used to. The thing people are missing in that equation, a lot of women are missing in that equation, is that those men, like my grandfather, grandfathers, and great-grandfathers, they were agriculturalists. They were farmers. And if you had those skills, plus you add in hunting, which they knew all of the above, you could provide for a family. You didn't need much more if you had that. If you had that, you could live off the land. And if you had some building skills, which all of them knew how to build homes and things of that nature, you could be everything you need to be. We are not in that reality if you live in a city like Atlanta, Chicago, New York, L.A., et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We ain't our grandparents and we ain't even our fathers. And I'm very lucky to even have my father. You know what I mean? I know so many men don't have fathers. That's another huge issue here. But I'm not going to go off on too much of a tangent there. But I am going to make the point that for men who have some skills of how to provide, 
it's a different story. Even for me, it would be a different story if some of this still truly applied. All these women talking about, I want traditional tree. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because I know how to fish. I know how to hunt. I even know how to garden if I had to. You understand? But that's no longer a skill that's truly appreciated. It's something that's valued for a very select few, and the pool gets smaller and smaller for who would appreciate that. It also gets smaller and smaller for some of the types of women I enjoy being around. You know, I do like prissy women. I do like fancy women, but I like a woman who can put on some heels and put on some hiking boots. That's a hard combo to find. So I know I've, I'm rolling a really, <laughs> I'm rolling a really heavy dice for the rest of my life on trying to find somebody like that. But they do exist, and I have come across them. What often is my issue is a lot of those types, they don't always, they, they, they may do a little bit of the hiking thing, but it's not really their thing. They'll just do it for me. That's cool. You don't have to do every, we don't have to have exact same things in common. But what we do need to have is that for that prissy side of her, if she wants Chanel and name brand stuff and all that kind of stuff, yo, that's your bag to tell, not mine. Yeah, once I start getting my money, if I can gift you up every now and then, cool. But if you're, an, if you're expecting that all the time and that's the way you think I show you love, we done. We are done. So back to the topic of the type of lady who I would go on a trip with. You know, I know a lot of different ladies from being in the film biz, and I've learned that, like, with them, some of them, I already know. I could get some of my hottest honeys that I know in the biz to go with me on some of these trips just to be eye candy in videos if there's some way, a way for them to promote themselves. Therefore, it sometimes somehow monetizes their situation. And they might even put forth a little bit of the money for their trip. Like, they might, I'm saying they might pay for their ticket if I was to be like, yo, you can kick it with me. You know, let's, let's say we have a little bit of an intimate connection. She might come with me and stay with me in the hotel while I'm there. And I ain't got to worry about having somebody fine on my arm while I'm there and enjoying myself in that regard. But at the same time, <laughs> I'm going to have to put a whole lot of other bills to make that happen. But what's the difference in that and getting there and spending money on somebody? Yo, the money's still going to be the same currency. I'm still going to be getting the same. You're going to be spending the same money but at least you're spending it with somebody you know wants to be with you. They already with you. They put in They put in just like you did. They, you know, I think it's best to have somebody if they come with you. Like they either split the hotel with you. They split a ticket with you. They pay for their own ticket. They put in something. They got something in the pot. So it's an investment for them too. If it's all on you, well then yeah, things can get real weird and all that. But people are way more humble. A lady's going to be way more humble to the situation and if y'all have a disagreement, she's going to you know, want to work things out a lot more if she knows, well, hell, he did pay for the hotel. And I don't want to have to try and figure out getting another hotel just because we having a disagreement. You know, y'all will, trust me, you'll figure it out. Everything will get real chill when everybody got some, <laughs> something in the pot. But when it's mostly on one person, yeah, things can get real sticky and, and weird. And uh, I'm speaking from experience of things I know about this energy. So that's my advice for fellas. Uh, what do y'all think about it? You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like it's cool to bring sand to the beach? Or do you only want to go to the beach and deal with the sand that's already there? Hit the comments. Let me know what's up.